What's going on, y'all? It's your boy E. One half of the High Press Podcast. And I'm here, man. Sitting down in my living room. Going over Twitter. And I see a story about my man, Arta Turan. A lot of you guys, you know, have heard of Arta Turan. Um, uh, he's a Turkish footballer. Uh, played for Atletico, um, Athletic Madrid. Uh, he was on Barcelona for a while, but never really got any burn. Um, so they loaned him out to a Turkish club. Well, supposedly, Mr. Turan is facing up to 12 years in prison for allegedly trying to steal a pop star's girlfriend, getting into a fight, and firing a gun inside a hospital. <laughs> Okay, that's a lot to digest. I, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I get it. Um, let me uh, let me give you guys a little details on the story. So basically, as per I forgot what. Uh, well, I see. So this is on Deadspin. I seen it on Deadspin right now. It says um, as a result of an October nightclub altercation in Istanbul that turned into something much more severe. Turan is being accused of a bevy of crimes: sexual harassment. Inflicting intentional injuries, carrying a weapon without a license, and shooting a firearm in a way to cause panic. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, he sounded like he's from Brooklyn. I don't know. I don't know. That's some that's some Brooklyn shit right there. Um the 32-year-old midfielder who was on loan from Barcelona at Istanbul Basakshir allegedly attacked Turkish singer Burke Sahin following a failed attempt to pick up Sahim's wife on October 10th. Sahim alleges that Tehran walked up to his wife and said, you're very pretty. If you weren't married, I wouldn't let you get away. Then Sahim interjected. Tehran allegedly started a scuffle and the ensuing altercation left the singer with a broken nose. So basically, Tehran was drunk in the club, ran up on dude's wife and said, yo, if you wasn't married, I'd take you home right now. The, the actor was like, yo, that's my wife. And Tehran just straight cold cocked him and socked him right in the club. That's my kind of man. That's how you do it. That's some gully shit. I know the, I know the soccer cooligans would, uh, would definitely approve of that. But there's more to the story, though, guys. It says, as if that weren't enough, Tehran allegedly then went to the hospital where Sahim was recovering to apologize um, in the most art of Tehran fashion. By offering him a gun and telling the singer to shoot him in retaliation. Reportedly saying, shoot me if you want. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm high right now, so I don't, I don't know if I'm digesting all of this. So you try to bag a guy's wife in the club, you punch him, break his nose, and then find out what hospital he went to and go give him a gun and say, bro, you can shoot me if you want. Yo, Arda Turan is really bugging out right now. Arda Turan is definitely bugging. So supposedly, Sahim turned down the surely appealing offer from the soccer star, leading to Turan allegedly taking the gun back and firing it off at the floor in the hospital room. <coughs> So he basically said, oh, you don't want to shoot me? Pop, I'll shoot, <laughs> I'll shoot up in here too. <laughs> Yo, it's getting wild in Turkey, man. Fucking uh, Erdogan is trying to get Enos Cantor, um, you know, extradited from the U.S. to face war crimes. And now you got Arda Turan busting off hammers in hospitals. Like, what the hell is going on, man? It says the four charges could add up to... 12-year sentence for Turan, who was fined 370,000 euros by his club for behavior and attitude not compatible with the club's ethics. Sahin is also facing between three to three months to two years in prison himself for insulting Turan during the kerfuffle. Nice, nice use of kerfuffle. Wow. Good, good job, Deadsman. That's crazy. Um, it says, uh, after news of the alter altercation began making the rounds, Turan said on Instagram that the reason for the fight was not about his alleged comment to Sahin's wife. He did not clarify his side of the story, but he also did not deny that there was a incident. 
He says, and I quote, I would like to make a statement about the news in the papers. There was an argument on my day off at the place I went with my friends, but the reason is not about honor and purity as reported. It is not possible to be that way. (laughs) Um, The article goes on to say, this is not Turan's first brush with bad behavior. He was suspended for 16 games in May last year for pushing an assistant referee. Back in 2007, the Turkish international quit the national team following a fight with a journalist on the team airplane on their way back from Macedonia. Tehran didn't quit the team, but he felt regret over wallowing a recorder for a perceived year-old slight. Uh, No, he just regretted that he was wearing a Turkish national kit when he did it. (laughs) Um, Tehran will appear in court again when his trial begins uh, in earnest on June 19th, which is coincidentally after the current Turkish Super League ends. Wow. Wow. So uh, I guess he got his court date pushed back until after the season. Um, And then he's going to have to... uh, you know, get his lawyers on and do some uh, whining and dining to Mr. Sahin to try to get him to drop the charges. But that shit is crazy, man. Wow. (laughs) You punch a guy in the face after you try to bag his wife, then you follow him to the hospital and shoot a gun in his hospital room because he refused to shoot you back. Good job, Arda Turan. Sounds like you've made uh, a nice case to be included into the uh, high press podcast, Scousers Starting Eleven. It's going to be you, Diego Maradona, Mario Balotelli, Raja Namgulan, Troy Dini, a bunch of y'all. That's going to be a good team, man. Me and Mark got to put that show together for y'all. But, you know, anyway, I'm out. I just wanted to, you know, talk, tell y'all about the fuckery going on with Mr. Arda Turan and. His whole situation, man. It's your boy E, High Press Podcast, signing out. Peace.